Welcome to Hollywood Uncensored. I'm Sam Rubin. And while the dark night may be occupying the skies above Gotham City, someone has to own the streets. And I think our guests here accomplished just that brand new movie, Step Up Revolution. And yes, the stars of the movie are right here. Ryan Guzman, the sexy leading man who can actually dance. Catherine McCormick, hello, beautiful. Emily Anderson in the movie has some incredible moves and a very domineering dad. Misha Gabriel is the brains behind the mob. <laughs> and Twitch has no boss on the dance floor. He's the thing. We're going to talk a lot about this movie, but first, a scene from the movie when you kids first meet, okay? Yes. And you start dancing in the sand, and it begs the question, what's sexier, the way somebody looks or the way somebody moves? The way somebody moves. Well, that's that is what I think. sexy, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because there can be the craziest looking person that'll walk out on the dance floor and all of a sudden they start dancing and all of a sudden your whole mind is changed about that person <laughs> and you're like, wow, they're really cute. They weren't when they got here, but yeah. for some reason I can't quit looking at them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. And it, and it even works with uh, people that actually look really good that can't move. It kind of takes the attraction away. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Seriously, yeah. seriously, you can see the, the hottest girl in the club and you, if she cannot catch the beat, you're like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, our conversation would be great. You know, no. <laughs> She's got a great personality. That was, that, it's a great opening scene, and I know things are not necessarily shot in sequence, but was that one, I don't know, were you particularly nervous about that one? Because we had to see this attraction between your two characters. No, I mean, we had a lot of fun with it, so we just played around with it, and uh, the chemistry was always there. We, we've been friends from day one, so... Yeah, uh, the, the dancing time. was a little nervous for me because I was new to the whole dancing scene, so. That was the first time you had a freestyle in front of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Did you think? Yeah, it did. <laughs> well, it down, Thank bro. you. I paid them. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. There, there, there's no doubt all of you can really move. And w was the audition process more of a dance audition or an acting audition? Uh, for myself personally, I, I just auditioned um, as, with the acting. Um, I was sort of humbled by the fact that they didn't really ask to see me dance. I didn't show up to the, to the dance audition. Matter of fact, the first time they, uh, they saw me dance, I think, was in rehearsal in Miami. So mm. I had a little bit of pressure on, on myself that I needed to make sure that I was who they thought I was. <laughs> totally. So, yeah. it, was, it was different for all of us, I think. I, mine was mainly acting, but there was one point that my third audition, I went in and had to pair up with Ryan to test chemistry and see how we moved together. So They put me through it. A month and a half of auditioning. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it was ten auditions. Uh, I think eight of them, or no, six of them were dance auditions. The rest were acting, and they made sure that I could get the choreography. And you know, I, I always think, and I think it's a special DMR. It always comes down to that one phone call, where after ten, I guess, mm -hmm. somebody called you up and said, "Guess what? It's you." Do you remember that call? Who called you? Yeah, um, Scott Spear, the director, called me, and actually, I was watching Bridesmaids, so uh, I ran right out of that because I knew I was expecting a call. And when he told me, I had such a mixture of emotions, I think I scared a little kid walking by because I was crying, <laughs> laughing, and doing all this other stuff. So I'm sure the kid was thinking, like, this guy needs some help. But I was so excited. I grabbed my friend, I rushed home and told my mom and dad, and it was the best day of my life. And is it a, is it a long, like, hey, this, I want, or is he just like, it's you? He played a joke on me. So uh -huh. he's like, you know what? Um, I'm glad you came out. It was a good experience, right? You had a lot of fun. I'm sorry. Uh, well, you're gonna have to see me for the next three months. You know, you're filming the movie, you, you're our lead. And I was like, God, I hate you, but I love, <laughs> love you though. Yeah. yeah, he did that for both of us. And then Adam and Jennifer are on the line too, and they're like, gotcha. And it was just like, it was so crazy. That's awesome. That's, awesome. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, so, so here's the thing. It, 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 it's like being, I don't know, kind of strapped on the rocket ship. You guys have done it. I've seen it. It's really good. Are you guys waiting? You know, like now it's like, here we go. Yeah, it's like a countdown of literally like three hours until the premiere. We're all Absolutely. like, I don't know, you guys are nervous? Yeah, yeah excited? I'm nervous. <laughs> Very much so. We're hiding yeah. it, but mm -hmm. we're nervous. But okay, a lot of emotions. Right, but what, what are you nervous about? More than anything, wanted to be, uh, wanted to be well received. You know, mm -hmm. this is Absolutely. the fourth installment of that franchise. So of course you want each one to be better, you know, because naturally people are gonna compare, compare them. So you want this one to be better, you want it to be different, and you want it to stand out on its own installment. So, um, yeah, if, if it's widely received and, and it can stand on its own as a different step up, you know, it, it's, uh, I think it's done its job. I, I'm going to ask you guys to describe some footage we're going to look at, because we're, of course, going to have a camera on that red carpet. I know it's your first movie. Yeah. When you walk down that red carpet to a premiere of a movie that you're the lead in, how do you think you're going to feel walking down that carpet? Hopefully I don't trip. <laughs> yep. Hopefully, I'm going to be counting my footsteps and I don't know. The good thing about it is I'm going to be with my family. So my family came out here 
for some support and you know I'm just gonna have a good time. I'm around great people, people that I, I love filming the movie with, so it's I think it's gonna actually feel really comfortable. Catherine, when I said all that to Ryan, I saw your mouth open. I didn't do that. <laughs> Do you yeah, just do that a lot? No, I think and I, when I'm like <laughs> thinking out loud, I'm like, I'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I think it's going to feel to you. I think I'm going to have butterflies and as anxious as I'll be, I think I'll have chills because it's like we're all sitting here and our dreams are coming true and we're living them with beautiful people, amazing people around us. Our families are involved and I, and I just don't think you could ask for anything greater. So I'm just going to be, I'm just going to have chills. I'm going to be so grateful. Wow, that's really neat to hear. Misha, what yeah. about you? Yeah, sort of the same thing. I mean, it, it's comforting having all of us here and having us, all of us together. We were on that, on that journey for so long together. So I think that's sort of comforting. And I think it, more, more than nerves, it's more just, just healthy excitement at this point and just anticipation. And for me, uh, my mom's a big part of my life and always has been, taught me how to dance, taught me everything I know, always said that you should, I should be a movie actor, always said that was her biggest dream for me. So this is like a really surreal moment for me, her being able to come to the premiere and, and, and watch me act. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, get the Kleenex ready. When we jump back, know, right? uh, Step Up Revolution <laughs> says some really important things about expression. Our stars will express themselves about that and later. From Gene Kelly to John Travolta, what inspiring moves on screen inspired our crew? We step out with the stars of Step Up Revolution as we continue right here. Back Step Up Revolution opens July 27th and four of the principals are here right now. And here's kind of a backhanded compliment. Your movie has great dance sequences and it has a plot. And one thing you talk about in the movie is how art can't just be about entertainment, mm -hmm. but you actually need to say something. Since that's a theme of the movie, Twitch, what is it that you're trying to say? Honestly, man, it's, uh, you, there are so many ways to express yourself. You know, uh, I feel especially it's important as artists because you know, some of us might not be blessed with the talent of, of making words that everybody can understand, you know what I mean? But we have so much to say that we need another outlet to do that. So um, I think the movie is a perfect, perfect example of how, you know, you know, people that have something to say can actually make a statement very bold that is going to be paid attention to. Mia Michaels has been here and she has an important role in the movie. She runs a dance company that Catherine's character is trying to get into. But she's a tough customer. And for the four of you to make it as far as you have in real life, you're smiling because you know what I'm gonna say. What <laughs> tough customers have you run into along the way? And has anybody ever said to you, you know what, you're a nice kid, but this is not really gonna happen for you? Personally, no one's ever said that directly to me. Um, but I think as a yeah, dancer yeah. or even as a... <laughs> <laughs> they, would, they wouldn't want to yeah, right, right. say yeah. that to me. Nobody's ever said that to me, funny. ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, not those words exactly, but um, I think as a dancer, even as an actor, you just have to get used to rejection. It just sort of comes with it, and you have to get used to not taking it personally, because mm -hmm. there's so many jobs, and there's so many auditions, so many experiences that you're going to go up for, you're not always going to be right for it. It's not necessarily have anything to do with you. Um, I auditioned for Justin Timberlake. I moved to LA to dance for Justin Timberlake. I, I decided I wanted to be a professional dancer because of him. And at the, the dance audition, I got cut. I didn't book it. Um, sort of three, four weeks later, I got the opportunity to choreograph a number for him. His choreographer Whoa. found me. So it came full circle. And if mm -hmm. I would have Did you ever say myself, to Justin Timberlake, hey, by the way, <laughs> were you able to tell him that story? Not Cause really. he's gonna watch it now. <laughs> we're gonna tell him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why. I love you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're having great luck. You are the lead lady. Your poster is all over LA. Who said no to you? Moving to LA, I would audition all the time and it's, it was mainly hip hop for me. So growing up, I was more of a technical dancer. So that was something that the first six months being in LA I got cut pretty much every single time you know and I it's all how you choose to look at it and with that I would never leave saying oh I'm not good enough or I'm not this I'd be like I've got work to do and I'm okay with that there are plenty of times I auditioned for Saving You Dance three times before I made it and no one knows that because I didn't even make it past the first cut yeah, and literally there yeah no they do <laughs> and literally I was on stage at one point and the judges were like the five of you you can all go home we would never really want to watch you dance again and that's not a bad thing. That's something that, because we weren't truly, we didn't truly bring ourselves to that. And I learned that and I came back and I was like, all right, I'm me now, I'm honest. And if you want it, you do. If you don't, leave it. And they took it. 
Wow. And so I learned so much. All right, maybe a Cinderella story, because Ryan, you came down here for something else entirely. Yeah, yeah, you MMA. Came, all right. Yeah, I, I started MMA in uh, Sacramento. I did about seven and, year, seven and a half years, actually, of MMA. Fought in the octagon for a year and a half, and then came out here to learn more uh, martial arts, uh, whether it be Kempo or Muay Thai or anything just further my career and then you know somehow I, I landed a modeling agency out here then a commercial agency and then within nine months I did six commercials and I got the lead of a movie so it happened really really quick and I feel very very blessed all right let's be honest how much do we hate Ryan <laughs> I mean you know but <laughs> define <laughs> on, define honest <laughs> you know what I mean like, <laughs> remember I was you know we gotta we gotta ride before. back together so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> No, I gotta tell you, this guy is extremely naturally talented. Yeah. You know, we were all shocked when he first kind of came in to Miami. And just, the, I think the coolest part was that he just had the courage to step in Absolutely. to the dance industry and be like, all right, this is what I got. I don't know if it's good and I'm terrified, but I'm gonna do it. And then to be able to see Misha and Twitch and other people just jump in and help him and truly show love through dance. That's what dance is. So to be able to see the industry grasp that and hold on to that, it was beautiful. That was the biggest thing for me. I mean, as far as like learning the dancing, like I can't take any credit for that because I think I learned so much so quickly because of the people around me. I have big names like Twitch and Misha and Catherine and the choreographers, Jamal Sims. Um, just so much talent to pull from that I think, you know, it was just natural for me to rise to the level I was. Don't I, get a big head or anything. But we all felt extremely lucky and extremely blessed that someone like Ryan was the lead in the movie because it could have gone either way. Absolutely. And so when, when we found out that he miraculously could dance for yeah. a non dancing we're like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well said. Exactly. Uh, when we yeah. jump back here from Fred and Ginger to Michael Jackson and Beyonce, who has the moves that inspire our crew and later, uh, is there a little romance going on in this movie? There is. So how does one balance a social life and being part of a big deal film? We'll tackle it all when we jump right back. Comparing tats. Welcome back to a brand new Hollywood episode. <laughs> I'm Sam Rubin. These are your leading men and lady from the brand new Step Up Revolution. Ryan Guzman, Catherine McCormick, Misha Gabriel, and Twitch. <laughs> and when folks see this movie, they're going to be inspired by your moves. And it made me wonder, from movies to music videos, there's so much dancing that we've all seen. What dances have inspired you? Catherine, what about you? What have you seen, maybe as a little kid or, or now, you're like, boy, those people can move. Um, I mean... When I was younger, Grease was one of my favorite movies to watch. And whenever they're kind of on the in the um, playground, like going through all of that, stuff like that, stuff that like makes you want to get up and dance because you can see that they're having a good time and the story is told through that. It's not just dance, but it's dancing through life. Things like that were stuff that I grew up loving. I got a few. Go ahead. Like landmarks in Please. my career as a dancer. Um, the first was the 1995 um, The Amaze that Michael Jackson did, where he did the dangerous smooth criminal thing with the, the red gloves. And like, it's just iconic. It's That's the top for me. It's my favorite. Um, Fosse, uh, Bob Fosse, he, his company doing Sing Sing Sing, that just a completely different style inspired me as a kid, loved it so much. And then Justin Timberlake's Like I Love You video, not to go back to Justin, sure. but that was yeah, the video that made me like JV. pack up my stuff and move to LA. It was just like this whole new style of, of this cool hip hop and, dancing. And when you watch something like that, did you think, I can do it, I wanna do it, what? All of it, all of it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be Justin or dance behind him mm -hmm. or what, but it was just, I had to be a part of what was going on. Twitch, you know a lot about this stuff, what about you? Man, um, I'd have to say Thriller is one of my, like, the, the, the breakdown in the Thriller video is the first uh, routine I committed myself to actually learning in my room. Um, and and it's, it's literally something that I used to think about for weeks and weeks and weeks. And this is before YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I couldn't just, <laughs> I couldn't just pull it up whenever I wanted to. I just had it. Yeah, whenever it came on MTV, I was like, all right, cool. Until the next time, I, I'm going to just try to, you know? But um, yeah, but Michael Jackson, hands down. And I, I feel like that's from, you know, you know, dancer to dancer. Michael inspired. I'd like to say it, all of us, <laughs> all of us, man, because he, his, he just put together the whole package, man, and you wanted to perform like him. You wanted to captivate an audience like him, and he, he just rocked beats so well. I, I, I'm, I'm sure there were fighters that were inspiring to you, yeah. but did you even think about dance before this came up, or not really? Not really. I thought just, you know, I'd do it at a club, and hopefully I'd get a girl with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how'd that go? 
it's gotten better. <laughs> All right. Okay. Speaking of dancing, I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna tear the roof off of this place. We got apparently we got something we're gonna work out on. Oh yeah. We okay. Got it, yeah. In our chairs even. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. See. So cue is... the music and you tell me what we're doing. All right. Cool. So what we're gonna do is the arm wave. All right. All right. Cool. Because are you a dancer? Do you I, dance? Uh, okay. I'm like Ryan in the club before it see, got exactly. better. Exactly. See now you right. don't even have to leave the bar. Okay. You can sit at the bar okay. and do this. I don't know if we're friends, but you can do it by yourself. Here. All right. So put your hands out. We're gonna pass a wave down. So okay. start with yours. Pass it down. Boom. Uh. Pass it back. Hey. Boom. Yeah, I always have a little, a little, a little seasickness on when we return here. <laughs> Is it nature or nurture? They tried. Can I learn to dance as well as anyone? We'll talk about that and what it takes to master the steps later. How do you master your own social life when your career takes off? More with the stars from Step Up Revolution. We're back with more tonight. Uh, we're back at Be Strong, our 100th episode of Hollywood Uncensored is on the way. Look for the premiere on Friday, July 27th, the same day, by the way, Step Up Revolution hits theaters. Now, you guys are all young, super fit, as evidence of the movie, you can really move. And did you have those abilities, or were they taught to you? I've always had this feeling, because I, I don't have it. I think it's like, you have it or you don't. Right. I, think I don't think can. that's true. Don't think you don't, you don't yeah. think that's true? I think I you think can have it, but even if you have it, and if you don't train it, then you're, you're not going to get good. You're not mm -hmm. going to be good, you know? And some people that don't have it naturally right off the bat can get pretty good at it. If you don't have musicality, it's kind of hard to be a dancer. Um, there's a few elements that I think you definitely it requires, but for the most part, I think hard work beats natural talent. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Although we were making that joke about the girl in the club who can't catch the beat. Cannot catch the beat. And so... <laughs> Not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Ryan, you were just telling me something when we were in the commercial, which I thought was so interesting, and you said it, it gave you admiration for your friends here. Yeah. Okay, because a lot of movies, here's the way it works. You know, it's hurry up and wait. So when it was downtime and the camera wasn't on Catherine, what was she doing? practicing her moves. I mean, this girl works hard. I, the whole cast worked so hard to get every single move perfected, you know, really, really clean. So even uh, when we weren't doing flash mobs or anything like that, they'd be freestyling just to learn new movement in their body. So that was inspirational to me because I wasn't a dancer. So to see that made me want to work even harder. Misha, what would you tell a lot of folks watching right now, you know, not anywhere near Hollywood, I want to be a dancer. But what, what's the advice? Well, initially, just like anything, go get into a dance class, get into a dance studio, you know, go to a dance school where you're learning dance. And then from then, it's sort of like, there's a couple avenues you can take. You can start taking workshops and learning from, you know, sort of people like, like us, both Twitch and myself, do conventions and do master classes and stuff. And you can learn from the people who are in the business. Um, and if you're really serious, you sort of, you know, if you're like in, you know, middle America, and there's not a lot of like hip hop, which is where I'm from, I'm from Colorado, not a lot of hip hop there. You move to where it is, you, you surround yourself with it. I moved to LA when I was 17, graduated high school early, so I could surround myself with it. All right, Twitch, that's good advice. What's your advice? Uh, honestly, I, I would honestly piggyback off that. I'm from Alabama, man, so once you decide that that's actually what you want to do, then you, act, you really do have to make moves to make that happen. Um, you have to go to either, uh, you know, out here to L.A. or New York if you want to do more stage and things like that. But you have to make a drastic move to actually make it happen because if it's not the central of where you are, it's going to be really tough to book gigs and, and learn from people that are in it every day and evolving the style. So you, you really do have to take drastic measures. So, but, and step out on faith, man. Like, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of what life is about. You know, it's about making history. Like, you, nobody really made history playing it safe. You know, so. that is that is well said. As we continue here, some of the steps they perform require an incredible balance. What about trying to balance out a blossoming career and a social life where you get as personal as possible when we return? <laughs> Guests of Hollywood Uncensored Escape at I Pick Theaters. It is the ultimate way to see a movie. I pick is all about comfort, service selection, from the amazing lounge area to the plush micro suede recliners to the best chef prepared food and freshly crafted cocktails. You love movies, but I pick loves you more. Check it all out at iPickTheaters.com. 
All right, time for our Kiss and Tell section of Hollywood Uncensored. Channing Tatum met his bride on one of the step-ups. Who, if anyone, fell in love on this set? And how can, not on this set, oh, but yeah. I mean, it's all that dance, it's all the, come on. There's a little romance. Me and Misha. <laughs> yep. Me I get Misha. it. It was really hard to Romance. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel yeah. strange? I yeah. felt uncomfortable. Did you feel you were in the way? I was like, I'm trying to have chemistry. It was something between me and Misha, <laughs> and we just didn't know how to get it out the way. I tell you what, it, it, it's a sexy thing to do, though, Twitch, isn't it? I mean, it is. It's a very, very sexy thing to do, man. And it's, uh, you, I mean, we were in Miami. You know, Miami heat, sweat <laughs> on a girl, right. sweat on the dude is not that, you know, it's not, right. yeah, the glossy dude is not that attractive. Right, right, right. Sweat on the girl, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, you know, and again, if you can find that person that moves, dude, it's just, it's, it's perfect, it's magic. And here's the thing, now that this is all taken off, do the girls want to know you for the right reasons or just because you're some big shot famous star? Mm. I don't know. He doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't bother him either way. I don't think Ryan's that discerning about it. <laughs> Catherine, what about you? Uh, yeah, it hasn't really. I don't think I've really had people come and be attracted just because of what I've done or anything like that. I haven't really had that attention in that way. And usually I just try to get to know people not for what they do, but for who they are. And I think if you stay true to that and ask those questions, I'll do the same. I do, I do see a lot of my modeling photos up, especially the ones in underwear. So maybe we could keep those down. No, my bad. I, I leaked yeah. those. I'm so yeah. sorry. That, that was you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But you, you, you guys work. I mean, here's the thing that people don't necessarily get it, all the publicity and everything. You're working 24 7. Can you have an off camera life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah for yeah. sure. It's necessary, actually. Oh, you're, you're going insane you know, if you don't. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. You go insane if you don't. It, it's, it's necessary to be able to get away and just uh, talk about normal things outside of work. You know what? We're going to retitle the show <laughs> The Wisdom <laughs> of Twitch. What a great group. Step Up Revolution hits theaters July 27th. Next week, Hollywood Uncensored steps up to our 100th episode. Thank you guys for being here. You won't want to miss us next week. I'm Sam Rubin for the 99th time. We'll see you next time here on Hollywood Uncensored.